at the uh, they had a Radisson hotel with a an all you can eat Sunday brunch, and Jerry was ahead of me in line. <laughs> And once my wife went, uh, I think I think you were picketing there, weren't you? <laughs> my mom took me and my sisters to an anti-Jerry Falwell demonstration when I was about 10 years old. <laughs> it was actually a, um, it was a pro-choice demonstration, I believe. I think so. Yeah. But it was actually in Lynchburg, right? Yeah, we lived in Lynchburg. That was one of God's little jokes, you know. That, that put us in Lynchburg. It lasted for six years. It was kind of a long joke. <laughs> when, when we left Lynchburg for California, it we felt like Jews leaving Poland in 1930. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Rudy, how did you collision detection in four dimensions? Using a bounding hypersphere or what? Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, it's the same rule. Yeah. Okay, but in episode 57, when they get out of the These patterns, by the way, if you wonder what they are, they're cellular automata. They're, uh, I used to work with them a lot. Cellular automata are about to get more popular again because Stephen Wolfram wrote a book about them called The New Kind of Science. Stephen says that's what the universe is made of. Uh, uh, that's not rule 110, but it's a similar kind of rule. There are rules like that. That's a two-dimensional cellular automaton. How do you get it so you can have it at home? Have it where? Oh, you can download this for free uh, if you go to go to the sacred web address, rudyrocker.com, <laughs> which leads both to both our sites. But you you can go there and then you go to my page and on the first page, you can link. You can get a screensaver version of this, or this is the executable. You can even get the source code if you want it. Uh, I haven't worked on it for about uh, about four years. Um, I've heard people talk about them. Uh, I've, I've never had a good feeling for anything having to do with quantum stuff. I, I just never can wrap my mind around it. So I've managed to avoid it so far. But it's useful for science fiction, certainly. Quantum computers. <laughs> what these are, yeah, that's like a, it's like a type of vibrating string. And that, that thing above it is a space-time trail of the string. So, uh, like down here, the height uh, that it is above the, the bottom is, is the color. So basically, that, that's the, the time history of it that you're seeing above it. And uh, then it, it breaks down. That's a nice TVCA. It's running the wave equation. So it's basically acting like the membrane of a drum head. Go ahead. Okay, so now we're going to see the, uh, I think Rudy got dialed into the, the secret, uh, the phone foon transcripts. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah. Search for sound photosynthesis. Does much better on single words. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a primitive search mechanism. Actually, we searched for our name, and there was a, there was some email from a woman whose husband worked at the Fort Rucker Army Base in Alabama, and she was writing this email. Well, I, I hope that pesky virus is gone now. You know, I'm never going to open an attachment again. <laughs> and uh, she says, my husband says there's something you can buy in stores to make viruses go away, but we think it's gone already. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know. In a warehouse in San Francisco, you know, th these men are chuckling over every keystroke that she writes. <laughs> and it's kind of bizarre. You still have to fix the uh, the projector, right? Really. Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, okay. Have you thought about turning that into a Markov chain and just publishing itself? Well, I'd like to get paid when I publish something. Uh, 
Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Hell yeah. It's, well, it's something about publishing, the less people treat, the less people pay you, the worse they treat you. Like, yeah. if, if you write something for free, uh, like I did recently, they don't even send you a copy of the magazine that it comes out in, you know? And, but if they pay you, then, you know, they, they're real nice to you. It's, it's one of the ironies of capitalism. Okay, what's putting it into a Markov chain mean? Um, Markov chain is a program that goes over a database um, and checks, given the last three letters of a sentence, uh -huh. um, which next letter is most likely to appear in the database. And right. letters with the same likelihood that they are, that they have in the database. What this means in practical terms is that you make something that talks a lot like someone else, right. talks a lot like the database sounds, but right, sure. doesn't say the exact same things. And I was thinking that this would allow you to give people a feel of what this collective data sounds like and what kinds of things people were talking about without violating any person's particular privacy, because it's only like that, not yeah. exactly. That's an interesting yeah. idea. Are, are you Lisa Jeff Brett? <laughs> no? You sound like Lisa. Oh. Yes, I, I meant the back. She means the back. I didn't, I didn't story. mean your short story. Of course, we can write things. That's an interesting idea. Okay, yeah, here's some of the. Yeah, in fact, there's really just searched for Rucker here. Don't know if we're rid of the virus or not. We're still having a little trouble with the computer, but Phil's files all seem to be okay. I'm sure never going to open another attachment. Lesson well learned. We shared a week of clowns, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Rucker. <laughs> yeah. And then you start to feel bad about it. lose part of her foot to diabetes, blah, blah. You know, I mean, <laughs> you don't want to be reading this stuff, you know? Jeez. Okay. Uh, well, what should, what, what should we search for, Rudy? If somebody, just call it, call it into something you want. <laughs> That's two words, one word. <laughs> Laughing. Search for squid, Rudy. See what we get for squid. Okay. There's lots of stuff that's squid. So, so just real quick, uh, the database sorts it, and uh, the, this is the title of the window running on the person's computer is B F L H hyphen Microsoft Word. So it's a Word document, new message, something here's here's something from America Online. Mexican frozen season squid. Where's that? And then here's the content of whatever they are typing. What are the, what's the uh, dates on this data? <laughs> this is um, from like November. Something to notice here, it actually, because it's a keystroke recorder, if you backspace, like you type something, you backspace, so it's so, so gentle, they misspelled, uh, they meant to write A-L, so they backspace, they still didn't spell gentle, so they backspace again. <laughs> <laughs> still didn't get it, they went back to the wrong spelling. So, Usually when you save something your, to your hard disk, it doesn't save all your typing errors and whatnot. Like on the keys, different. Even if you just if you write, you know, like I hate my fucking boss, just to get out of your system, and then you back, you erase it. <laughs> it's too late. It's yeah. too late. <laughs> but um, actually, doesn't doesn't Microsoft Word save all that stuff in the Microsoft Word file? Root the uh, word file. You can it, hack into a. a safe, it saves it until you close the file, but it, as long as the file's open, it's saving that. But I think once you close it, it's gone. Right there. There's a super user password for some computer for Terra team. There's the IP for it. <laughs> well, like, this isn't a loaded question, honest, but how do you justify the morality of, put, of publishing to us people's unintended private conversations? I'm not publishing it to the world. I'm showing it to you as a demonstration. All this data has been changed, and none of it is the actual form that came to me. Yeah, but you don't. <laughs> well, really. this isn't on a publicly accessible website. You can't access this. It's a. I'm going over an encryption challenge. But That's you did just. <laughs> 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 it's funny. I put this up. The people tried to hack my server. Like, it was really intense. Like uh, I would watch the logs. They'd be trying all these tricks in the URLs to like, access the to 
find ways to break into the program I wrote to get to the data. They're putting these cool things in the in the part where you write HTTP dot whatever whatever. They're